a lot of people might be surprised that Versace is not the main, you know, he's not the main thing that the show focuses on because, you know, there's so, that's, you know, that's not the point of the show. So what do you kind of say to that to the people who might be a little surprised? Well, I mean, I think Versace is the great life force. This is a story about two people that grow up, one grows up to be enormously successful, both gay men, and one grows up, navigates the pitfalls of homophobia, creates this enormous fashion empire, is this life force that people fall in love with, who's charming and captivating, has houses in Miami and Milan, and someone else, why does that person, who's equally brilliant, very clever young man, Andrew Cunanan, and why does he grow up and achieve nothing, and is full of bitterness, and decides that rather than create something, I'm going to destroy things. And the contrast between the creator and destroyer is, is the central energy. Andrew Cunanan was a spree killer, and he murdered five different people. The most famous being Gianni Versace, and Versace was his obsession, and it was everything he wanted and couldn't have. And um, the series tracks through those victims, and we thought it was important to spend the same amount of time with the less known victims as it was with the most famous victims. And Versace weaves his way in and out of this story, I think in a great way, but the journey itself is the journey of this killer across the country as he murders people. Um, so let's talk about the cast a little bit, because I think it's some surprising choices. <laughs> like, people wouldn't have expected Ricky Martin and Darren Criss to be starring together in like this prestige sex drama. So, uh, most of the casting, if not all, um, I've got to defer to Mr. Ryan Murphy, who has a better instinct for casting than anyone we've ever met. I mean, Darren Chris, he's worked with before. I know people know him as a song and dance man or Hedwig from Hedwig and the Angry Inch, but Ryan knew that he had something deep inside him, a performance that he could give that would be complex and intense where you could partially humanize this killer while also not shying away from the atrocities of what he'd done. Um, Ricky Martin, Ryan came to us and said, I believe in him and I think he'd be great in this role. I'd never seen him act. I think he's incredible in the show and we've got this great mix. You know, we've actors you haven't seen in a while like Mike Farrell who was on MASH who gives a great performance in the show. So part of the joy of these shows and work with Ryan is picking these actors and putting them together.